Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the weekend edition of the Nave News Update. It's Friday, March 20th, and many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for the day from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. Montana is now requiring its teachers to integrate instruction on Native American history and culture in all classrooms. This is part of the state's 30-year commitment to preserve the Native American culture. Montana's Indian Education for All Act is setting an example on how teachers can use cultural instruction to promote tolerance. The state has now become a leader in preserving Native American history and culture through this constitutional amendment that requires teachers to integrate instruction on Native American history and culture in all classrooms. In 1972, the state added language to its constitution as part of its commitment to use education in preserving the unique cultures of Native Americans. This commitment was codified after 30 years with the Indian Education for All Act, indicating that every student in the state, Native or not, should be encouraged to learn about the distinct and unique heritage of American Indians in a culturally responsible way. States like Wisconsin and South Dakota have policies that emphasize the need to provide tribal history instruction in schools. However, Montana Public Instruction Superintendent Denise Juno said no other state has a law about it. The first tribal-owned cancer center in Indian Country in the United States has opened on the Puyallup Reservation. Salish Integrative Oncology Care Center is a state-of-the-art cancer care clinic in Fife, Washington. The center will be staffed by board-certified medical oncologists and naturopathic oncologists, as well as natural cancer care and complementary cancer care practitioners who are experts in providing innovative treatment for most types of cancer. The Puyallup Tribe wants to bring integrative cancer care to Native Americans and non-Native Americans alike and participate in cancer research. For more information, you can check out SalishOncology.com. Did you know that there was a Native American actor named David Bald Eagle that is 95 years old? David Bald Eagle has a long history of being in the spotlight and has a current career in acting. Over the past two years, there has been a film in production that he stars in. While the Kickstarter campaign for the Dave Bald Eagle movie has been online for almost a year, their Facebook page says that they only have two days left to reach its goal of $30,000. The end product will be the release of Neither Wolf Nor Dog, starring Dave Bald Eagle in his early 90s. The funding still lacks $2,500 as of March 19th. According to the Kickstarter website for the movie, if the full $30,000 is not reached, the Kickstarter will not be funded and all the money will be returned to those that donate. According to the Kickstarter campaign, Dave Bald Eagle is a World War II veteran that was born in 1919 and only spoke Lakota until the age of 12. He spent years as a race car driver, played semi-pro baseball, lived in Minneapolis, and then eventually went back to the reservation to raise children and horses. He was also a first chief of the United Indigenous Nations in the 1990s. The Kickstarter campaign ends on March 21st. To help this campaign reach its goal, you can visit kickstarter.com and search for neither wolf nor dog. Librarian of Congress James H. Billington has announced that Louise Erdrich, author of such critically acclaimed novels as Love Medicine, the last report on the miracles at Little No Horse and the Plague of Doves and her current novel, The Roundhouse, will receive the Library of Congress Prize for American Fiction during the 2015 Library of Congress National Book Festival. The National Book Festival and Prize Ceremony will take place at the Walter E. Washington Convention Center in Washington, D.C. on September 5th. Erdrich is the third winner of the award. The annual Library of Congress Prize for American Fiction honors an American literary writer whose body of work is distinguished not only for its mastery of the art, but also for its originality of thought and imagination. Erdrich's career spans more than 30 years. She has received the National Book Award and the National Book Critics Circle Award. In addition to the awards for her individual works, Erdrich is also the recipient of a Guggenheim Fellowship in the Creative Arts, a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Native Writers Circle of Americas, and the Penn Saul Bellow Award for Achievement in American Fiction. It has been a year since Christian Takes Gun Parish, aka Superman, released his video, Prayer Loop Song, on YouTube. 
that spread like wildfire throughout Indian country and around the world. He was then picked up by an MTV blog and later made the list for the MTV Rebel Music Native America extravaganza. There's no doubt that a buzz was created and has opened many doors and opportunities for the fancy dancer from Crow Agency, Montana. Powwows.com recently caught up with him in the middle of his tour titled I Rap for Change Tour and learned that Google had found out he was in the area performing at UC Berkeley and invited him to their headquarters in California to perform for some of their employees on March 12th. They told him that he was the first Native American to have performed for the company. You can keep up on the hip-hop artists touring around the country this spring and summer and be on the lookout for a new CD which is in the works scheduled to be released later this year. For more information you can check out facebook.com forward slash Superman Hip Hop. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day. <laughs>